So like we promised, in a fortnight time, we're back looking at the major components of our six-cylinder inline engine. We shall briefly look at uh, the major components and we shall be back one. We have the air filter. The air filter, it is meant to clean any impurities. That one is what we call the air filter. It is meant to clean any impurities so that they don't get into our engine. Right below the air filter, we have what, what we call the manifold. But we shall talk about the inlet manifold. The entire of that component is what we call the manifold. We have the inlet manifold, blue in color. So when air gets in through the air filter, down to the inlet manifold, then into the engine. Right below the inlet manifold is what we have the exhaust manifold. So the exhaust manifold is meant to drive out the exhaust gases or the burnt gases from our engine. So slightly below, if we look at it, we see what we call the engine block. The engine block is the housing for the engine components, the internal engine components, that could be addressed on a later date, probably in a fortnight time. Slightly uh, on, uh, amounted on the engine block is what we call the oil filter, engine oil filter. It is meant to clean impurities from our engine oil as it circulates in our engine. Below, we have what we call the oil sump, engine oil sump. It is a reservoir. It is where the engine oil is kept as it is circulating in our engine. And uh, right across, we have what we call the alternator. The alternator is meant to recharge our bed when the engine is running. And we have what we call our fan belt. Fan belt. It is in tandem with the fan, which is meant to facilitate cooling. And uh, down we have the crankshaft. So the fan belt connects the alternator, the fan, and the crankshaft. But later on, we shall talk about the coordination between the fan belt, the crankshaft, and the running of our engine. For now, adios. Till next time. Thank you.